And our second school here is uh, Helios. And so uh, probably the uh, number one point here about Helios is that they have uh, personalized classes uh, by strength and subject and also uh, interest in the topic. And then they also have an emphasis on uh, outdoor learning and play. And then uh, their location is in uh, Sunnyvale, California. Uh, nextly, uh, their teacher to student ratio is one to seven, which is also very low, uh, too higher than NOEVA, but it's still very low at one to seven. As, and then for their total students, it is 148. And then for their tuition, you can see the numbers right there for their lower school and their upper school. And then their main grade entrances is kindergarten and grade six. Now for this next slide, we are gonna go more into uh, this uh, key point right here, which is uh, the math classes are not organized by age, but instead they're organized by readiness of the subject. And so parents will definitely ask themselves, that's definitely great. I would like my student, if they are uh, gifted at a certain subject such as math, to be able to go into a higher level class uh, so that it, that better fits uh, their learning speed. However, I see one problem here how do students adjust with the age group and the, the, the maturity level? Because obviously if a student is in say second grade, but they're doing fourth grade level math, there may be a little bit of a road bump a speed bump, if you say, uh, for the, the maturity level and the age gap. Well, Helios and the teachers at Helios do their, uh, do their best to make adjustments and they compensate for that age gap and maturity level to ensure that the child is still on the path that, better, that best suits them and also is not getting uh, negatively affected by the age gap. Uh, just like Nueva, they also have an emphasis on project-based learning. Uh, an example of this is that every Friday, the students partake in the uh, Helios math circles. Uh, where they learn multiple different methods to solve problems through group activities. This is the SEL coming into practice, making sure they're communicating with all of the, the students uh, rather regularly. And then this last point here is that they also uh, promote learning skills such as yarn fabric and 3D printing uh, through their Imagine Lab. So I guess a key point here is that they try to do their best to uh, adjust for the education, the age gap, uh, and the maturity level, but they try to have the best uh, math mobility for gifted students. One point I will make is it is definitely harder for project-based learning for students to excel um, and go up the ranks for a math class as opposed to like a test-based learning system for Harker and BASIS just because there's more things to assess. However, I would say out of all the schools, Helios does the best job of making uh, math mobility possible through their project-based learning. Moving on to these next key points, uh, this is Helios's outdoor activities, and obviously a common question that could be asked from parents is, uh, wh why would you uh, talk about the outdoor activities? What's the significance? Well, for Helios, they want to focus on outdoor activities because they believe that it helps uh, expand their breadth of learning. It gives them new experiences, uh, definitely a change in scenery, because you can only learn so much in the classroom. Sometimes students need to learn uh, outside and gain experiences there, uh, definitely learn a lot of real life skills. And three of these ways of how they uh, kind of promote a healthy lifestyle slash environmental engagement is uh, the first one here is called is uh, camping. And so since kindergarten, students, uh, they will camp overnight on the campus. And then as they get older, and as they become more comfortable with uh, going and, and staying over overnight and camping, being away from home for a short period of time, they will go on these longer uh, trips, and they will also go to farther Way places such as New Brighton Beach or Manresa Beach. Uh, for those who don't know, those are two beaches that are located around 35 to 45 miles south of San Jose. Uh, and it's around a little bit south of the Santa Cruz area in between Santa Cruz and Watsonville. And there on those trips, they learn uh, key life skills 
that are great for people who want to be outdoors all the time, such as map reading, plant identification, uh, first aid, and so forth. Uh, they also partake in field, field work exercises to gain real world, real world experiences. Uh, it's definitely different from just regular field trips. They're, they're learning more uh, through field work. And then lastly, Helios does take a lot of seriousness into their gardening. They have a definitely a pretty uh, big garden, uh, definitely a, a pretty good size. Um, and they use this to help show students how to learn uh, a lot of other real life skills regarding food, like food growing, uh, seed saving, soil tests, and composting. So definitely very important, especially the food growing. That is definitely a very uh, neat and unique real life skill to learn. Uh, so that's some information on their outdoor activity components. And then lastly, we'll get into the parent feedback for Helios. And so this first parent says that the emails that my kids literacy teachers send, uh, they are pretty in depth and uh, well differentiated uh, for my two kids. Um, so this parent definitely felt that the feedback that is given from uh, the teacher to them regarding her student was, was pretty in depth for the literacy uh, class and was, was satisfied with it. And then the second parent said um, that, uh, her second grader is in pre-algebra, which is obviously around seventh grade math, so five levels higher than where uh, they would usually be. Uh, and even at that level, the teachers do their best to uh, make adjustments for them so that the maturity level with the older kids doesn't create uh, an issue. So there's kind of a more extreme example where it's like five levels higher as opposed to like one or two, uh, where the parent still says that they're, they've been satisfied with the accommodations that they provide for uh, their student. And then this final quote, um, here says that uh, my younger kid understands Spanish fluently, fluently, but they can't or won't speak it. Uh, so the teacher is customizing the Spanish class for them. Um, and that she's actually pretty surprised that he's coming home from the kindergarten Spanish classes and actually uh, having learned stuff from it. So that is that customization for the kid to make sure that uh, they're getting the most out of that class and that they are uh, kind of getting tailored to their strengths so that they actually uh, can learn from the classes to the best of their ability.